But you know exactly what's happening to that letter. Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever applies to you. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Julia. I'm a contemporary singing specialist based in Australia. And today I am reacting to Leah Salonga performing On My Own from Les Mis. Les Mis. And I can't wait to dive into this one with you because of just how amazing Leah Salonga is. I feel like there's a lot that we can learn from her as a vocalist. So without further ado, let's, let's dive in. Okay, so right off the bat, something that is being done really, really, really well here. Leah's articulation, my God, so crisp. Every consonant is crisp. Every word is clearly outlined. She's sitting in the vowel where it's appropriate to do so, which is going to take some of the effort out of the singing because she's not driving straight from the consonant through the vowel to get to the next consonant. Just lovely, clear lyrics are so important if you're singing musical theatre because the Lyrics is the text is the story. Like a lot can happen in a musical theater song. Your whole life could change in the space of three minutes in musical theater. So that is a critical part. The audience must be able to hear you, <laughs> must hear every single part of the story, every single word nice and clearly. Otherwise they're gonna miss parts of the story and they might not understand what's happening. So consonants are clear, singing on the vowel in a way that is free and supported and she's getting color in those low notes because of that. Just just lovely. And in addition to that, her placement is just fantastic for where she's starting off that. And now I'm all alone again. This placement where your larynx doesn't have to hike up for it. It's kind of, you have to find this lovely balance. And an easy way to find that is to practice speaking up in a balanced way before you even start to sing. So if she's up on, and now I'm all alone again. Well, this isn't where I normally talk, but you can certainly practice up there until you start to feel comfortable. And then once you're comfortable speaking up here, then you can start to put pitch on there. And all of a sudden we have this really clear speech-like quality that isn't forcing us to be super effortful to achieve. Anyway, so that's a little exercise that you could use uh, if you're for some reason struggling with these uh, lighter mechanism, but still really clear and speech-like phrases. If it's up a little higher than say where you're comfortable being super speechy like that, then that, that, is, a, that is a thing you could use. So. Uh, but that's something she's doing fabulously here is her placement. It's nice and bright, it's twangy, it's pingy enough that we get the volume and she's not hiking her larynx up to achieve it. There doesn't sound to be any effort in what she's actually doing and that makes for very pleasant listening. So let's just keep going because I mean, Leah Salonga singing is practically like just textbook so good if you want like a healthy musical theater reference. She's great. On my own, pretending he's beside me. All alone, I walk with him till morning. Without him, Feel his arms around me And when I lose my way I close my eyes And he has found me In the rain The pavement shines like silver All the lights are misty in the river 
the darkness the trees are full of starlight and all I see is him and me forever and forever and I know Before she really lets loose, because Leah's coming in through with those beautiful, warm, powerful sounds that are now leaning up more towards that belt quality. The way that she's starting to achieve this is not by squeezing her pharynx. I promise you, it's not because she's squeezing that sound out. It's because there's enough space and the shape inside of her mouth and her pharynx is relaxed enough that... Not only can she support that vowel, but she can support a powerful vowel. Her vowel work in this song thus far and through the rest of it, because I've, I've already seen it clearly, uh, through the rest of the song is splendid and probably brings us to another point if we were to like list off musical theatre things that would be helpful for us from this particular performance. The first one is the articulation. The second one is the placement and the weighting if you want a speech quality sound that you don't have to work for higher up in your voice. And the third would be her vowel work. She's not having to squeeze the absolute bejesus out of her vowel. It's a well-supported sound. So you take your support from lower in your body. A vowel is basically just sound waves in space. It's not something that has to be overly articulated in the front of the mouth. It's like business at the back, actually. <laughs> business at the back, party at the front when it comes to vowel work. Because if you're trying to shape your vowels clearly with your lips, it's already too late because the vowel is shaped through the pharynx and the tongue. So the way that she set up this vowel work is just splendid because it basically means she's relaxed enough that the shape can give her these warm tones and still sustain them in a free manner. So support, nice shape placement, sustained, beautiful color in the sound because the pharynx is wide enough to give her those warm qualities or the shape in the back of the mouth is warm enough to give her those qualities. It's affected by those shapes quite a bit. And it's certainly something that Leah is pulling off fabulously. Anyway, let's, let's let her like let loose now. We're gonna, we're gonna keep going. Of him, but when the night is over, he's gone. The river's just a river. Without him, the world around me changes. The trees are barren everywhere. The streets are full of strangers. I Stunning work. So, she's just so good. Oh, gosh. All right, so a lot just happened in there. One of the things that I just wanted to talk about to be completely opposite to what I just spoke about with, like, not having any tension is how you can, in fact, use constriction to get a point across. So, for example, when she's getting very angry, she starts to constrict a little more and it changes the tonal quality. So when I was talking about the vowel being free, just so that there's no confusion, that's like your baseline vowel. Once you can establish consistent freedom through your vowel, then you can add like things on top for the effect of maybe there's an emotional effect you're going for or a character or something like what happens here where she starts to constrict just a little more and it makes her sound 
frustrated and angry. So let me just find that for you. She's got this little bit of a press coming through there and it makes her sound super frustrated. So I guess that lends itself to the other thing that's maybe important if you're in this kind of song is your character. Of course you'd be frustrated. And if you're better, you know exactly what's happening to that letter. Ah, such a heartbreaking thing to be in love with someone who's not in love with you, right? Am I right? Oh. And now she's in this situation where it's like the only place that I can have you is in my mind. And then I'm brought back to earth and I'm frustrated that that is the case. All I see everywhere are strangers because you are not in fact with me. Oh, heartbreaking. Okay, moving on past that point, let's talk about this belt. Because let's be real, we've all heard someone try to drag their chest up there. Yeah or first register. I'm not a huge fan of the use of the word chest voice, head voice, but I understand that it's something that perhaps people are more familiar with. I'm, I call it first register or M1, meaning mechanism one. So that means that the vocal folds, they're just touching all the way. So different mechanisms mean different vibration patterns at the vocal fold level. So first register, chest register, M1. A lot of people try to drag that fuller, whole fold contact sound up too high. We all know it. We all seen people try to screech their way through the top of this note. Or let me know down in the comments if you haven't. I'm sure a quick browse on YouTube will find them for you. Anyway, that's not what Leah is doing here. What Leah is doing here is a mixed belt. In fact, it's a little bit lighter than some of the sounds that she's just belted below it, but she's still maintaining a lot of the qualities of the belt that she's just basically set up on the notes below the one she has to hit. But you can hear this vowel. It's almost like the vowel becomes a little lighter. It's not brassy like what you might expect from something that is maybe chest dominant or first register to dominant. This kind of belt relies on resonance and space and support. So it's a coordinated, it requires a little bit more coordination. Uh, but to be honest, all good belting is just very well coordinated. Jennifer Hudson, whoo, so, so coordinated. As she moves on up there, it's like, it's why she can carry such what sounds like her first register up so dang high. So hell. If you haven't heard her, go watch some of her stuff. Oh my God. Belty, belt, 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 belt. Holy belt, Batman, like damn. Uh, anyway, I get sidetracked. Let's go revisit this belt. Without me, his world will go on turning. A world that's full of happiness that I have never known. So yeah, there's your example of your mixed belt. I would dive a little further into the details of belting, but that might be a bit much for, for one video of on my own, perhaps. I think that would have to be a very specific video because belting is a complicated, controversial topic. Let's be real. And there's lots of different kinds of belt, particularly if you're looking in a musical theater, a lot to navigate. Anyway, so this is your mixed belt and she's achieving it by lightening as she ascends while still maintaining some of the resonant characteristics that she's just established in her first register. She's just carried those characteristics up, but not necessarily carried the weight up. There's that, that's that coordination that I'm talking about is it's a fine, fine line between it sounding like a belt and it just sounding like a balanced sound or even second register by the time you're up there. And you might've noticed before that she was using that constriction again. Again, the character work on this, this is just a fantastic rendition of the song. It's a great place to start if you're new to musical theater and you're not sure on what might be expected of you vocally. I would say that if you've had maybe more on the classical side, you might find some of the vowel work in this a little easier, but that speech quality and the fact that it is first register dominant might be a little bit more complicated if you are coming from a classical background. And perhaps the lightning up as you ascend might be a little bit more uh, uncomfortable in the beginning if you're coming from just a pure contemporary background where you haven't had to keep that balanced pingy speech quality all the way up through your range because it's not something that you find as frequently in your in your common common pop music that there's a very musical theater sound to it that if you've been listening to a lot of musical theater you know what i'm talking about uh anyways i think that's where i will leave that one today uh let's quickly rehash articulation was fantastic 
great placement. Lighter waiting in the front there means you don't have to work as hard. Singing on the vowel, being able to derive power from that vowel. So her vowel work is actually just exceptionally well supported and balanced and she can put lots of colors in it and you, you sing, use it at different dynamics. It's just That's really important. She was able to execute that flawlessly. And the belt at the end is um, the, a mix that she's using. She's not taking up her first register all the way up there. That would be uh, a lot to ask from your vocal folds unless you are anatomically and physiologically very inclined to being able to carry up weight that high. And then another point was use of constriction to uh, be more emotionally connected to the story, that character. So character-driven vocal decisions are also at play here in this particular rendition of On My Own. And she just nails them all. Leah Salanga, Your Majesty, thank you for, for this fabulous rendition of On My Own so that we have this example of good vocal modeling to pass on to other people. Anyways, if you have any questions about the stuff that I spoke about in today's video, just leave it below in the comments and I'm more than happy to address those if I, if I, if I can, if I can help, I will. Uh, otherwise, I hope some of the little things that I spoke about in this video were helpful. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like, click the subscribe button and the bell notification set to all. As usual, I hope you are staying safe. I hope you are staying healthy and I will see you next time.